to lower it, you are going to do um, black on red, red on black. The reason you do black on red, red on black to lower is because it's reverse, you are um, lowering the roof down. So you're unwinding the motor in a way. Did I explain that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's like Audra speak for motor mechanics. Okay, so while you're doing this, um, uh, if you're with someone else, have them walk around and push the canvas in while it's lowering down. If you're by yourself, um, you're gonna pause when you get about 12 to 15 inches from being closed all the way and walk around the entire um, pop-up and push the canvas in. So this is the one way, um, one man way to do it. So you just have to tap. disconnect the battery just drop it on the ground and walk around the entire pop-up pushing the canvas in away from the edges with if you use the awning and the awning down it's a little tricky you're gonna have to go underneath it <laughs> And I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so it should be clear. We are gonna go ahead and close it down the rest of the way. Once again, black on red, red on black. Before I put this up, I like to go around and um, clasp the roof closed and do everything else. That way, if I need to lift it up, I don't have to unwind the cable again. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll up the awning. It's easier to do with two people, but I'm gonna attempt to do it one person. So you're just gonna roll this bar, trying to make sure that everything stays in line, you don't roll up crooked. Okay. Then you're gonna take the cord that was on one end and just thread it through. the loops on the top. I gotta fix that one. Do the other end. Same thing. You can even hook it underneath a couple times the um, bars, the PVC bars that are stuck onto, like attached to the roof. Just a little extra support for those as well. to just make it a little tighter because when you're driving down the road, the air catches and this will fly out and this just holds everything in. So I hook this onto this little eye and wrap this green bungee around. And then I attach the end, the other end of the green bungee to one of these loops at the top. 
put the awning down, then you're going to want to um, clamp the roof down for travel. If um, the roof is really high, like if you made the beds in here and you're moving on to your other destination and the roof has a lot of space in here, you might have to add some body weight. So don't be afraid to sit on here to push it down. You can lengthen these clamps just by twisting and you'll see it get longer. And then you hook it over and pull it down. After you've driven a little while, um, if you're going on a long trip, um, multiple hours or multiple days, uh, when you stop for the first time after you've driven some, the roof will settle down and you might want to tighten it some more. So this one, <laughs> body weight, pull it down. We have lots of gap on this side, so I'm going to lengthen this clasp, clasp, add some body weight, lengthen it a little more, there you go, and then same thing back here. All the way down, we're gonna go ahead and store the cable. So just take it back here and we wrap it somewhat loosely around the spare tire. Because if you make it too tight, then it's hard to hard to get out. Take the ends of the clamps and I like to just stick them onto the back of the bumper there.